If you're looking for a good starter moth to raise that's both easy and docile, look no further than the tobacco hornworm. These can be found easily in pet stores as they are bred to feed pet lizards. We found some larger ones to take home and they had never eaten anything except man-made hornworm meal, so they were really happy to get to try some of their favorite natural foods. Here they're eating some potato and they stayed put for hours without wandering anywhere. Hornworms naturally like to eat plants from the nightshade family, which includes tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant, but they can also be found on horse nettle and jimson weed in the wild. When raising them, you can buy hornworm food, which makes it easy to keep them, or you can offer them any nightshade plants you have available, but they do eat a lot. Also, once they have switched to natural plants, it's difficult to get them back on man-made food, and I have to guess it probably doesn't taste quite as good. Here you can see that they are content to eat in any position whatsoever. They are, for all intents and purposes, quite chill. They are extremely docile and easy to handle, especially once they are larger. And this one didn't mind a little day at the beach joke. Watching the meat can be quite interesting. This one is working on an eggplant leaf while holding it with its little zebra-striped legs. And finally, let's take a look at the eventual moth they will become. They are nocturnal and typically won't move much till after midnight. They can be easily handled. Um, this shivering of the wings is to raise its body temperature for flight and is common in most large moths. This species has six orange spots on its abdomen, making it easy to distinguish from other species of hawk moth. And now looking up close, we can see the moth's coiled up proboscis or tongue, which is among the longest in the moth world. These moths specialize in pollinating deep flowers that other insects cannot access, and they are typically underappreciated for their contribution to the ecosystem. You can also see they are sporting some incredible fur-like scales, really beautiful up close. So if you're looking for a super easy and interesting species to work with, the tobacco hornworm will surely not disappoint.